What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that there is 31 different states right now that have approved stimulus checks, tax rebate checks, property tax rebate checks, renter checks, or tax reductions in their states. And there seems like there's more coming almost on a weekly basis. So there is, uh, we're going to go over several different states that are sending out checks this month. Okay. Uh, we're going to go over that here in this video uh, to millions of people uh, collectively between the states. Uh, probably over 10, tens of millions of people actually. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go over who's going to be getting these checks and even more coming here going forward. Because if you've been watching my channel, um, it just seems like more and more is coming here. There's multiple different reasons for this. Number one, from the last stimulus package, there was $350 billion that went out to all the states, uh, split up to all the states by population. And uh, all the states are now uh, deciding how to use that money. Not a single state has used all the money. So there could be even more going out here at the end of this year and next year. And also, unemployment is at a 50-year low right now. It's at 3.5%. So um, states are all bringing in more money than they pretty much have ever before. So is the federal government as well. The federal government has actually paid down the national debt or the national deficit by $1.7 trillion. Um, and that's not all the money they have. That's just one portion of the money they have. So they're um, awash with cash as well. So uh, uh, the federal government and states are all bringing in a historic amount of money. So they all have surplus money. So this is one of the ways that they're using their money. You know, the, the Biden just announced uh, for over 43 million Americans, 10 to $20,000 of student loan forgiveness. Okay. For those 43 million Americans, this is basically a massive stimulus check of 10 to $20,000. Okay. Uh, as long as it doesn't get challenged in court by the Republicans. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that the Republicans are actually thinking about doing this. So it could get challenged in court. And if, if or if it doesn't hold up, I'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, we'll have to see on that. But this will, that would provide a major relief uh, for 43 million Americans, 10 to $20,000 in student loan relief. Um, there's also a massive uh, SNAP food assistance program coming this week, or I'm sorry, this month, uh, but we'll, I'll keep you up to date here on that. But let's go over this. As you can see here, stimulus check update, six states to send out payments this month. Uh, there's actually more than this, um, but we're going to go over this here, six states to send out payments this month. Uh, and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon after you subscribe. I'll keep you up to date here with more and more states cities and programs as well as federal programs like student loan forgiveness, SNAP programs, stimulus checks, and um, things like that. So you don't miss out on new videos coming out here. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribing is completely free to do so. It just makes it so you won't miss out on new videos. And You can click the thumbs up button for us as well. But first, I want to mention, I've been noticing more and more scammers commenting in the comment section down below, which got me thinking about scammers and hackers and imposters. Right now, we're in a scamdemic. There's more and more people trying to scam you, steal your money, steal your information, or steal your identity in one way or another. Identity theft is one of the worst scams out there. In fact, a new victim is scammed every 14 seconds in the United States. I use Aura to protect myself and my family. Aura is an identity theft protection company that monitors your personal information and protects it from hackers, scammers, data breaches, malware, phishing attacks, and more. Aura continually monitors the web for your data and will send you alerts if they find anything and will let you know if there's any suspicious credit inquiries on your credit. 
and they will send automatic removal requests to data brokers, which will also help reduce spam and robocalls. You can also protect yourself and your family with Aura with the link down below in the description of this video and the pinned comment of this video. It's Aura.com forward slash It's Jimmy. And get this, viewers of my channel will get a two week free trial with Aura. So you can see how many times they find your information on the dark web. So check it out today with the link down below right now. For a fourth round of stimulus checks, several US states will be sending out more money to residents this month under various initiatives. The three federal stimulus checks provided qualifying Americans with payments of $1,200, $600, and $1,400 across 2020 and 2021 as we dealt with the pandemic. But elevated costs for food, gas, and other products and services have continued to stretch America's wallets. A full breakdown of which states are sending out payments this month is here. Check this out. First up, Alaska. First up, the states of Alaska. The Alaska budget signed by Governor Mike Dunleavy in June included $3,200 in payments, including a one-time $650 extra energy relief payment, or I'm sorry, $650 energy relief payment and a $2,500 permanent fund dividend. That will be sent to Alaskans. The Anchorage Daily News reported for a total of $3,200 that will go out here in September for Alaska. That's a lot. Uh, that's the largest amount going out to any state, $3,200. They announced this in July that it will begin arriving in bank accounts on September 20th according to the Alaska Public Media. For those who submitted paper applications or asked for paper checks, the, paper are, the payments are expected to be sent about two weeks later. So those will be arriving in bank accounts on September 20th in the state of Alaska. So yeah, you can see here the Alaska state has approved this $3,200 payout per person that's a really nice amount, man. I wish uh, wish we could see that from every single state, right? That is uh, a lot of money, to say the least. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Next up, the state of Colorado. Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed a law in May that would provide a $750 tax rebate for individual filers and $1,500 for joint filers, also a lot of money, $1,500 uh, for married couples, according to the Colorado Department of Rev uh, Revenue. Those who filed their state income tax return by June 30th will receive their checks by September 30th, so uh, towards the end of this month. For extended filers who met the October 17th deadline, the refund will come by January. So if you filed your taxes by June 30th, which probably most people did, their checks will come by September 30th. So probably sometime this month. I don't know if anybody from Colorado has got them yet. Uh, but yeah, you can see here checks to Colorado taxpayers for $750 or $1,500 for joint filers will start being mailed out next week. Let me know in the comment section um, if anybody has got them yet. So let me know in the comment section if anybody's got their $750 or $1,500 checks in the state of Colorado yet. Yeah, pretty pretty decent amount there. Also, a lot of these states uh, have enough money to do it again. Uh, some states like Indiana uh, sent out two checks. Some people actually got a combined check. It was a $200 and $125. You can see here the state plans to combine the $200 payments and the $125 payment 
meaning that individual taxpayers would receive the $325 checks while married couples would get a $650 check. So uh, Indiana may have combined your checks here uh, for a total of $650 for some married couples. Yeah, so not bad. Our next state, the state of Hawaii. Aloha, if you're listening to uh, from Hawaii. Hawaii Governor David Ige signed a bill in June that would issue one-time tax refunds to certain qualifying state residents under Act 115, payments of either $300 or $100 per person, uh, including dependents and children, will be based on factors like income level and filing status, for example. Single, single filers whose federal adjusted gross income is less than $100,000 annually can receive a $300 rebate, while those who make more than $100,000 per year will receive a $100 rebate. A full breakdown of how much money state residents can expect to receive and their filing status is available on the Act 115 information page. Hawaii will begin issuing the payments in the first week of September. And these payments of up to $300 for taxpayers and their dependents, you can see here, this means that a family of four could receive up to $1,200. So not bad, not bad. Uh, this is thanks to the state's $2 billion budget surplus, um, which is pretty typical, maybe even on the low end. For example, California has a $97 billion surplus. And California has already approved as well $1,050 checks. We're, we're, as you can see, we're covering a lot more than six states. Um, I think California's checks are going to start going out next month. Um, there was some talk that they might go out at the end of this month. I'll keep you up to date here on this. Uh, but Californians will get up to $1,050 in inflation relief checks. These are already approved as well. Um, so again, just one of the states here that have approved stimulus checks, California as well. Next up, the state of Virginia. The state of Virginia is also sending out a one-time tax rebate to some qualifying residents. According to the Virginia Department of Taxation, those who had a tax liability last year will receive $250 if they filed for individually and $500 if they filed jointly, um, up to $250 and $500 if they filed jointly. Virginia does it a little bit weird. Uh, it's a little bit different for every single state. Uh, depends on your tax liability in the state of Virginia. These payments are expected to start going out in late September. Uh, WJLA reported, but it is possible that some may not receive theirs until the following month. The Virginia Department of Taxation said that those who are eligible and filed by July 1st, their rebate will be sent by October 17th. This means that all should receive their payments by October 31st for the state of Virginia, which is $250 for individuals and up to $500 for married filing jointly. Next up, we have the state of Illinois. Illinois is providing a one-time property tax and income tax rebate. It's kind of a stimulus package. They also had a sales tax um, pause and a gas tax partial pause as well uh, that will begin being issued the week of September 12th. Um, the checks themselves aren't, aren't large. But like I said, it's, there's multiple different things in there for the state of Illinois. Income tax rebates, single filers will receive $50 each. Married couples will receive $100. And uh, that includes dependents. Dependents can receive rebates up to $300. It's $100 per dependent for a maximum of three. So married couples with children can get up to $400, $50 per adult. $100 per child or dependent. Only those making under $200,000 to $400,000 can get these, which makes sense. While the refunds with those beginning the week of September 12th said that they will take several months to be issued. 
There is also an Illinois property tax rebates that is going on here as well. That for you can see here, the property tax can be a maximum of up to three hundred dollars as well. If you pay property taxes in twenty twenty one, and your income is below two hundred fifty to five hundred thousand dollars, which most people is going to be, you can get an, an additional payment of up to $300 as well. Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, Governor Tim Waltz signed a law in April that would allow Minnesotans who worked on the front lines during the pandemic and who met certain criteria to apply for bonus pay. This was open through July. The state has yet to announce how much each applicant will receive, but they set aside $500 million that will be divided equally between each member of the pool. Those eligible are expected to receive their money during September or October. And it's estimated that 667,000 state residents would qualify, or about $750 to each applicant. This is for frontline workers, kind of a bonus pay or hazard pay. So again, this is another check that's going to go out here in September or October to 667,000 people. But nearly 1.2 million Minnesotans ended up applying for the checks, meaning that the payout might be a little bit smaller. So it's actually 1.2 million people. So about double the amount of people applied. So about good for them. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different things going on here with a lot of states and really federal programs as well. Um, the student loan forgiveness of ten dollars to $20,000 that the president just signed an executive order for, uh, as long as that doesn't get challenged by the Republicans, that is uh, in effect and going through the, the process of that. I'll keep you up to date here on that as well. Um, there's going to be a massive food stamp conference, uh, food snap conference here this month as well, which could raise benefits for over 40 million Americans. Um, and we could see all sorts of different stuff and different programs like this. Um, if you've really been watching my channel, there's really all sorts of stuff like this that happen all the time, all the time. 31 states have passed state stimulus checks. Uh, property tax rebates, tax reductions, and all type of stuff here just this year. And every week, it seems like there's more and more here. And then when we think about federal programs, we, we really have a lot of that going on here as well. We've had three stimulus checks, student loan forgiveness for 43 million Americans, um, food stamp raises. We have monthly food stamp um you know, food snap uh, raises you know, like bonus money going on for about half the states here as well. And then we've had paycheck protection program, unemployment assistance. We really have a whole slew of a lot of things. We have rent assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance. There's a homeowner assistance program with $9.9 .9 billion. And I'll keep you up to date here with all of this stuff and daily news, what's going on here in our country on a daily basis. So make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. I'll keep you up to date here. Also, make sure to check out Aura here down below in the pinned comment. Uh, so you may definitely want to check out them here down below. So uh, you can click here to watch my newest video on Social Security raises of $2,400. And I just did another video on $3,000 checks going out here as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.